Hello everyone, welcome to Explore ORZ. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys have an amazing day today. So today, we are going to share about the top 9 most dangerous fish in the Philippines that you guys don't know and probably know. So let's check it out. When on your diving or snorkeling trip in the Philippines, you're unusually on guard as you're drowning in the attraction of the marine experience. But these animals, each of which is sufficient throughout the nation, will give you a mentality to be extra cautious when you're undersea adventure. As a law of nature, if the fish is colorful, eye-catching, and absorbing, possibilities are it is also deadly. But if you're undersea, these things that you want to see and snap photos of it. Please remember, when you're diving, you're a guest, not the hero and many creatures call the ocean's homie. So ensure you and your dive friend come up with a strategy before you're following undersea experience. Number 9 is Stargazers. Extra scary looking fish are the Stargazers. These fishes are bottom dwelling predators usually found burrowing in the seashore with only their eyes pointing. So they do seem like they are continually looking at the stars. Their jaws are almost at the related level as their views, so when an innocent person swims over them, they could be swallowed. They can be troublesome to find as most of their body will be covered below the sand. If you are not alert, their poisonous spines could cause you intense pain. Number 8 is Crown of Thorns. The Crown of Thorns starfish, COTS, is a great dark green starfish with 23 arms. Along with their arms are sharp barbs carrying venom. Unpleasant stings may give the injured area constant dullness. These fish are predators that feed corals. They perform a vital role in creating the ecosystem. However, if their community dramatically grows, they can spend large amounts of time in a subject of weeks. If you see one, do not feel them or try to kill them in your struggle to free the sea. You require proper education in COTS elimination. When starfishes are disturbed or emphasized, they become spawn, freedom eggs. Number 7 is Stingrays. The title in itself should be a sufficient warning. Stingrays are sensitive creatures but will have several possible attacks in protection. Stingrays have a poisonous barb in their tail which can produce extreme pain, which is why it made its access to this list of dangerous fish in the Philippines. A sting from a stingray could be deadly. The blue-spotted stingray is generally found in the Philippines. They're usually hiding on sandy ground, discreetly mixing in. This situation makes it troublesome to find them. Most damages to humans happen on ankles or below legs. So before you go reaching or bending on the sand, ensure there are no stingrays under you that force whip up their sharp tails. Or better yet, avoid getting connected with the ground as you never know what other lurks below that might revenge in case. Number 6 is Jellyfish. These gelatinous looking fish, usually known as jellyfish, have legs that shoot away poisons to destroy their victim. They're regularly hard to find because of their transparent bodies. But if you do detect them, stay off and inform others of potential jellyfish strikes. Although not whole jellyfish species are deadly to humans, they are familiar to create pain, scarring, and also death. If you do receive damage from a jellyfish, don't pee on it. First, it's obvious. And second, it won't support. The quick first treatment is to apply vinegar to the damaged spot. Do not spill fresh water on it as it will increase the stinging. Ensure that the personage managing you is using a protecting glove as the wounds may also harm them. Number 5 is Moral Eels. You've probably viewed the Little Mermaid and are natural with Jetsam and Flotsam, the two muddy moray eels that help Ursula. Sadly, the film is not obvious in describing them as evil guys. Moray eels are extremely dangerous as they will attack you with their razor-sharp fangs and strong jaws. They also have another set of jaws named pharyngeal jaws, which makes it harder for the victim to avoid. So get away from the moray eels as they're familiar to sting people, creating serious damage. Number 4 is Catfish. As stated earlier, catfishes have poisonous barbs on their dorsal and inner fins that can create human pain if they are pierced. The black and white lined fish is abundant in the Philippines. They are eye-catching not just because of their stripes but also because they're usually found in dense schools as they serve on the seafloor. People consider them threatening sea creatures that exist in the Philippines because they look harmless but can create some injury. You can manage stings by covering the wound in hot water. Number 3 is Lionfish. Lionfishes are usually found in the Philippine seas and are also dangerous because of their poisonous barbs. The toxin can be found in its sharp, dorsal, pelvic, and anal spines. They're beautiful to look at, notably when they grow out their quills. But stay apart from these mesmerizing fish. Don't be tricked by their beautiful colors because if they open out their fins and spines, it's a protection mechanism. If you get damaged by a lionfish, it will likely not create death, but it will create endless pain. Though, some people get an allergic response to the infection happening in anaphylactic injury. Like most marine stings, try medical attention quickly. 
Effective first-hand treatment for lionfish bite is to cover the spot in hot water. Number 2 is Stonefish. The stonefish or scorpion fish are leaders of disguise. They can be hard to find on the beach as they seem like stones spread with algae. They have highly venomous spines, which gives them part of this list of dangerous aquatic creatures. Like most ocean animals, they command not to attack unless they feel exposed. A scorpion fish, always hiding in clear sight. They are familiar to cause pain to divers just because the divers ignored the scorpion fish sneaking in plain view. They passed too close, and it sustained itself. If you've been randomly hurt by a scorpion fish, quickly treat scorpion fish damage by covering the wounded area with hot water. The pain may endure for hours, and each person's retreat to the poison will be different. Ask for medical care quickly. Number 1 is Titan Triggerfish. As people have seen, most Filipino divers are more scared of the Titan Triggerfish than of a shark. They're known to follow divers and attack them. They are known as Ballastoids viridescens, the monster triggerfish familiar to create serious damages from their wounds. They manage to be more aggressive during their mating and nesting period. So if you notice a Titan triggerfish nearby, it is enough to swim away or wait to clear off its way. If you swim on the peak of their cradles, you are most likely to be beaten by a monster. Their section continues upwards in the form of a cone. If you randomly swim in their region, your safest course of action is to swim outward away from the nest. Do not swim upwards while your pleasure still is within its area. Keep visual contact with the Titan triggerfish as you dip. You even want to place your fins within you and the Titan triggerfish for an extra block shield. Thanks for watching our video. If you like our video remember to help us like and share. If you have yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. So you will be able to receive the notification when we launch a new video. See you in our next video.